No. No, you didn't. Oh, it slipped my mind. He invited me to dinner. What? Don't worry. It didn't slip my mind to mention that I'm married. Well, he knows you're married, Karen. I mean, he works with your husband. Besides, he's, you know, he's new in town. He doesn't know many people. If he invited you out, I think it'd be kind of rude not to accept. I know you are not actually suggesting that Mom go out with another man. Well, why not? Are you a promising young doctor? Maybe she can charm him into buying you dinner next. No, I do not want dinner and neither does Mom. Right? Actually, I'm feeling a wee bit peckish. Oh, she makes Romano with the parmesan. Hi, sweetheart. Lovely. Are those my flamingos? No. Oh. It's probably down in the gift shop. Watch, she'll come back in here with flowers or some cute little stuffed animal. God, I hope not. He's always doing those thoughtful little things. Yeah. I mean, he seems like the type. He is. He really is. Sounds like a lot of pressure. Mm, you have no idea. I mean, good pressure. Sometimes it's like... I look in his eyes and the way they... see... The way they see me. It's like you're reflected there. Right. Only you're not sure if that's you. If you're the woman he sees you as. But you want to be. You try to be. You know, you feel like if he sees you that way, maybe you can be. That's what I want. I want to be the woman Eric sees me as. For both of us. He must have forgotten his key. Eric! Hey. I, uh, I saw you check back in. I, I waited until I saw him leave like last time. Oh my god. You remember. What? Amnesia, do you? If you tell Eric, I will murder you in your sleep. I swear. Faking amnesia? <laughs> How days of our lives can you get? Oh, please. This whole thing is your fault. Uh, well, normally that be true. This time I'm quite certain you're the crazy one. You hit me with a television. It was a portable. When I woke up, I really thought I was on my honeymoon. For a second. But you're the one who insisted Eric bring me back here. Fine. I'm the crazy one. But I had the snake. Well, it's my snake, and I want it back. The snake. That's a penis reference, right? No, God! With a mind that works like that, no wonder you cheated on your honeymoon. Okay, glass house, giant stone, I cheated once. You've been involved with a married man for months. The bellman lady on your honeymoon. Between us, you win the skanky ho contest. I was practicing, okay? I had never done it before. Don't even try it. It's true. I mean, I had done it on vegetables and things. Oh, God! But it's not the same. I made Eric wait until after the wedding, and he had been so patient, I just wanted to get it right. I made a mistake, okay? I made a mistake. You ruined him. He can't even walk past a chapel without having an anxiety attack. And there's a lot of chapels in this town. I'm sorry, okay? I said I was sorry. Well. I hope you and your sorriness will be very happy. Uh, where are you going? I think I'll go help Eric practice. 
You might not want to do that. He's my husband. And he loves me. And I'm not letting you get in the way of that. You really need to take your hand off me. Not until you close the door. Okay. Slow fat. Where's your wife? My mother. Your wife? She's upstairs getting dressed. Exactly. She's getting dressed for a date with someone other than you. My father. Her husband. Sharon, you're being ridiculous. Your mother is dining with a fan. And it's because our marriage is so strong that I don't have a problem with that. Really? Have you seen her? Well, I have... Sharon, I thought you were going to get me a safety pin. Oh, that must be Frank. Well, I guess the bra strap will just have to show. Get your mother a safety pin right now. Dr. Chambers! Dr. Tyler, Hi. how are you? Fine, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be fine? Hello, Frank. Hello, Karen. I'm, uh, I'm so glad you changed your mind. Frank, drink? Popcorn? I got it! I got it! Sharon, this is Dr. Frank Chambers. Lovely to meet you. I'm quite a fan of your mother's. Ah, he's European. So you, uh, you're going out to dinner? Yes, we have eight o'clock reservations. And will you be very late? Uh, no, no. No, ma'am. Is your cell phone charged up? Shall we? Good night, then. Drive carefully. What are you doing? All right, stop! Stop. You do realize all this is going on your credit card. So let's both of us just calm down and discuss this like mature adults. It's 40 degrees out. Shoes help. <gasps> Bitch! All right. What are we drinking to? How about crazy women and the losers who love them? You're not a loser. She's your wife. You don't just stop loving her because... I'm not talking about Heidi. Oh, wow. Really? You love her? Well, then you have to tell her. Not until she tells me. What, you're playing chicken? She has to say it first? Not it, but something, anything. I just need a word, one word, so I know I'm not the only one feeling this. But she can't say it, and I don't know why. Well, maybe it's because she's freaked out. I mean, here you are, her friend, practically her brother, and all of a sudden she's thinking about you in dirty ways. It's freaky, okay? I met Jay three months ago. How am I practically her brother? You're a boy. Hey, Mrs. T. Hello, dear. It's the beautiful sadness in your work that I find so compelling. Sadness? It's a kind of ennui. One invariably comes away from one of your books with the image of a lonely wanderer forever buffeted from pillar to post. Really? What are you doing here? Where are we going? 
Wait, is that my mom? Who's the guy? He is touching her hand now. What? Where? Dad, don't turn around! I can't see. Shh! <gasps> what? <gasps> what? She is eating his pickle. You shouldn't have come here. I told you, it can't happen again. I mean, last night was great, okay? Better than great. But we can't. I mean, if you were anyone else, maybe. But you're not anyone else. You're you, and you're like a brother to me. So, I make love like a black man? Not that kind of brother, you idiot. Just, look, it's just too complicated. It can't happen. Just go. I just came for the fish. You are such a 